Hi everybody, welcome in to Rolling with John Lewis. Today is March 25th, National uh, Super Bowl. The winning day around the world. Uh, don't forget to wear green. I want to tell you that uh, it's the most common disability disorder diagnosed in children. Uh, more more boys are diagnosed than girls, and uh, cerebral palsy affects uh, different people in different ways. Uh, some people can walk with cerebral palsy. Uh, some people um, have to use mobility aids. Some people like myself. Um, have what they call spastic diaplegia, which means it affects my arms and my legs. And I have uh, a case of my own dysphagia. That's why my voice is different. But I want to tell you, uh, cerebral palsy might be something you deal with. But it doesn't have to define who you are, what you're about, or whether or not you can accomplish your goals or dreams or not. Because I believe we all have a purpose, a dream, and a destiny. And we all have our gifts and talents and abilities uh, to give, um, bless the world with. I am a Paralympic athlete. I play bocce ball. I'm also a disability self-advocate. And I'm an endurance sports athlete. I'm a part of an organization called Angels Angels of America, which focuses on inclusion uh, through the sport of running. And it takes able-bodied runners, pair them with disabled athletes or people with physical challenges like myself. And it allows us to compete in 5Ks, 10Ks, half and full marathons. I've been, uh, I've competed in many five gays, ten gays, um, uh, a marathon, and I can be, I can be in two odd runs. Odd run is anything over 26.2 miles, but I can be in uh, two 100 mile races. Um, I, I'm pushed in a racing wheelchair. Um, I had a team of, uh, people that pushed me in my racing wheelchair. Um, my first, my first ultra marathon was in Iowa, Kansas. And me and my team completed that race in 27 hours. It rained on us, it snowed on us. It got down to below 18 degrees. It was freezing, it was the most cold I ever been in my life. But I had a good teammates and Micah Bevins. Justin Walker and Dave Box, uh, Justin Walker and Dave Box pushed for about 30 to 35 miles each. Um, Micah was out there with me all the time. And me and my team made a little history because I was the first and the angel writer in America to ever complete 100 miles. And um, we also made 
Uh, he's beyond this. Pretty spirit rails the trails, of course, because we were the first duo team of our kind to ever complete that race. We also made Algebra Runner magazine, uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, I've also been to college. I got my degree in human services and applied sciences. I use it in my motivation of speaking, my advocacy work, my life coaching, and um, I'm also author. I'm working on a book about my life this far, and I have a rolling wish on those podcasts, which you can find at Google, on Spotify, on on Apple iTunes, uh, pretty much everywhere you can find podcasts. You can find me also on YouTube, so don't forget to subscribe. Um, and you can follow me at Rolling Witch on this, uh, on Instagram, and I'll also, um, uh, I'm John Lowe's motivational speaker. So, I want to tell you that you don't, I say all that to tell you all the stuff I've done. You can live a full, active, productive life. Cerebral palsy is just uh, something you do with. You might need help with different challenges than other people. But it doesn't have to uh, stop you. You know, you can get married, you can have kids, you can have a job. You're just like everybody else. Only difference is you have different challenges than most people, right? But you and I both know everybody got challenges. No one is an island. Our challenges, if you have physical disabilities, are just more on the outside, where some people are on the inside. But excuse me, um, you know when I went to when I went to uh, high school and college, uh, my. I, I can't read, though. My day before is read to me my, by my mom, or I got them on tape. And, um, I, I did all my book reports early when it came to taking a test. I had a no day, uh, uh, somebody that. This is me with digging the desk. And what I mean by that is, um, um, they, I told them what right, to write down, and they wrote it down. And I, um, when I did my book report, I had doing from memory. My mom and I, I spent, uh, many nights, uh, up, up all night. Uh, diving, uh, ding ding papers and rewriting papers. She, she helped me do that. I was able to graduate college with a 3.9 GPA and a degree in human services and applied sciences. And I'm also, I was an ADA inspector for a year, um, making sure that all, uh, all places were accessible, uh, to us with disabilities because, you see, I believe that every, sorry, my cat my dog were getting into it. Huh. Uh. Sorry about that. 
Um, but I believe that I believe that everybody should have access to the same goods and services as everybody else. So I, I do my part to make sure that all places are accessible. And so I just want to tell you that don't forget to wear green and support um, all people with cerebral palsy. If you see someone with cerebral palsy, go up and treat them like you would anybody else. Because we're more likely than we are different. In this self advocacy organization I'm part of, we say we're people first. Because we are, we're people first. And we might just have uh, some extra challenges. But we're people first. And we deserve to live the least restrictive life possible. And I hope that you have a good day. And I hope that this YouTube video finds you well. Don't forget to post, uh, tweet, and share. Share on your Instagram stories. Don't forget to um, uh, subscribe to my podcast, Rolling with John Lewis. And, um, you know, just don't give up on your dreams and know that you can do it. Um, God bless you. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm trying to stop this. But have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to wear green.